Hello and welcome to the export to ebooks video. Now, export into ebooks is a breeze with Papyrus Author. It's one of the few softwares, or in fact, the only software I've ever used that gets it right every time with just a few mouse clicks. Now, whether you're exporting to Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Kobo, the file formats for ebooks are very uh, regulated. So it's just a few mouse clicks, unlike paperback, where you will have to do quite a bit of formatting yourself. So again, like I say, with Papyrus Author, it's, it's the only software I've ever used that gets it right every single time. When I used to have to export with Word, instead of a few mouse clicks, it could take me hours of work making sure all the hyperlinks and tables of content were working properly. But Papyrus does it in a breeze. So with that said, let's take a look. Okay, so to export to ebook, you would come up to File. Okay, so since making the export videos, uh, Papyrus has had an update. So instead of export, um, in the file menu, it's now called publish. And you can also export or publish your files from this new menu called author. And you come down to publish again. And from here, you can publish to Word, PDF and ebook. Export and you've got two options. You've got EPUB and Mobi. Mobi is basically your Amazon file, which because Mobi is read by the Kindle. EPUB is basically everything else. So if you're uploading to Barnes and Noble, Smashwords, uh, Kobo, you would use EPUB. Okay. I'm going to choose Mobi because I primarily upload to Amazon. But what I'm about to show you here applies to everything across the board. Um, so whether you're using EPUB or Mobi, all these settings are identical. First, we'll look at these tabs at the top, which you can basically ignore. This is all stuff that's working behind the scenes. You can ignore this, let Papyrus do its work and trust it. It's completely fine. What you will need to do is if you're exporting to Mobi is tick this box, box use uh, Amazon's Kindle Gen to create Mobi. This will download a small file from Amazon, which is used to create your file. It takes a few seconds. I've already done that, so we're fine. And you, you then have a number of templates to choose from. So when you change the template, it will preview uh, the changes within this window. I always use Papyrus Standard and I always choose to preview, uh, show preview of my actual document. So I'm going to tick that and it will actually then preview my book. And again, if I change, you can see that it will change the appearance of the ebook. I'm going to go back to Papyrus Standard. You can also add your cover at this point. And to do that, you will go choose image file simply browse to wherever your cover is which is mine's quite a, i've got to do quite a few clicks here to find it so mine's in uh my cabinets papyrus uh longthorn cover and you would double click on your cover i want to replace the one i've already got and that's it done so that's now added the cover into your file now, there's one other thing I want to change. This really is me being picky. You don't need to do this. See how this letter here is a, is a larger L than the rest of the text. If I go to it here, you can see it's a standard L. So what I want to do, again, this is just me being picky, but I want my L in my ebook and all the subsequent letters that are the same to look like that. So instead of using the recommended settings, I'm going to go to all cases, and I'm going to go specify font size. OK, so when I do that, if I scroll down, you can see that the L is now how it looks here. It's that larger L. Again, this is just me being picky. Ordinarily, you would just stick with the default settings. And I'm going to go export. I've already created that Mobi file, so I'm going to replace it. OK, so I'm going to pause now and I'm going to open that Mobi file with a Kindle Previewer. 
Okay, so I've just opened the Mobi in the Kindle uh, Previewer, which you can download from KDP. And if I change it, so you can actually within this app, it's a great thing for testing out your eBooks. I can actually um, make it look exactly how it would on any Kindle. So you can really check out whether the export works right, whether you want to fine tune anything. Uh, so this is what my cover would look like on an ebook uh, Kindle reader, uh, on a tablet, um, on a phone. So, and you can then click through the chapters. I'll go back to Kindle ebook reader. It makes it a little bit bigger. You can see the L is exactly how I wanted it to look because I adjusted those, those settings. Um, and if I click through, I can then check out that everything within my kind, uh, within my um, exported file is working fine, which with Papyrus it always does. It's one of the few pieces of software that I've never had an issue with when exporting to eBook. Um, every other piece of software I've ever used, be it Word or anything else, I've always had issues where I've had to go back and modify the file at least two or three times before I got it right. Okay. Okay, so that was the export to ebook video. Again, <laughs> it's just such a great software for exporting. It's it does everything perfectly. I've never had an issue with any of the books that I've exported up to Amazon with it. Um, and it's just great and works every single time. So until next time, see you later. <laughs>